everyone, and welcome to our weekly video update for Mark Cutlet Seeds. Thank you for contacting us with your varieties and locations for our field signing contest. We'll be accepting entries for the Jets tickets draw until next week, and our winner will be announced in the next video. I'm in a field of P7527 AM near Pansy, Manitoba, where the majority of this field is entering the VT or tassel stage. In ideal conditions, there's two to three days between the VT stage and the first reproductive stage, which is silking. The highest water requirement in corn is the transition between the vegetative to the reproductive stages and through kernel blister. At this time, the corn plants can take up approximately one third of an inch of water per day. With our heat units still 20 to 30 percent above average and our precipitation catching up to the normal, corn continues to progress ahead of the calendar date schedule. However, corn is heat unit driven from emergence to the tasseling silking transition. After this, it is significantly less dependent on its heat unit accumulation and more so on its 55 to 60 days to reach black layer maturity. We shouldn't be concerned with an early flower. Excellent yield potential remains in our area. This field has areas where nitrogen leaching and deficiencies have occurred. We can see the scale of exactly how much here by using the Encirca satellite imagery app. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call us. I'm in a field of P007A90R soybeans near La Brocree, Manitoba. With pods starting to form, these soybeans are entering the R3 stage. They will continue to flower, although 60 to 75% of the flowers will be aborted throughout their growing season. Phytophthora continues to develop in poorly drained soils, but sclerotinia pressure and insect pressure such as aphids and others continue to remain low. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call. Have a great day and thanks for watching.